KAGS weather camera is brought to you by Lone Star Roof Systems. No jingles, just roofs. Good Thursday evening, Friday Eve, uh, just one day away from the weekend. Temperatures out there, pretty chilly, sitting at 53 degrees here in Bryan College Station. Notice we're also seeing a pretty strong northerly breeze gusting over 20 miles per hour, so that's adding a little chill into the air. Temperatures elsewhere across the Brazos Valley, generally in the lower 50s. We do have a cool spot, Temple, sitting at 43. The rest of the Brazos Valley just dealing with those temperatures in the lower 50s. The entire area area experiencing experiencing those northerly winds and the northerly winds are what dropped those temperatures. We're about 20 to 30 degrees cooler right now than what we were dealing with yesterday evening. So we went from spring like temperatures to more late fall, early winter temperatures and those northerly winds that brought in the cool air. They're going to stick around into the early morning hours. That's going to make those feels like temperatures fall into the lower 40s. So Wind chill is going to be a little uncomfortable out there. Notice heading into the evening hours as well as heading into tomorrow morning. You definitely want the light jacket. Make sure the kiddos have it as well as they head to the bus stop tomorrow morning because we're going to see the wind chills in the lower 40s. So going to be a little bit uncomfortable out there. Now we're not dealing with any showers or storms here in Bryan College Station, but there are some showers across the northern as well as southern parts of the Brazos Valley. So if you see a couple raindrops, hit the windshield this evening. Just know that it's expected to remain pretty light and brief. Now we picked up a tenth of an inch in Bryan College Station. The heavier amounts of rain over the past 24 hours have been just to the south of Bryan College Station. Seven tenths of an inch in Brenham. Get it, getting has almost picked up an inch. Got eight tenths of an inch of rain and we need this slowly chipping away at those abnormally dry conditions. Taking a look at the future radar noticed by 8 p.m. Um, a lot of the shower activity has died out, but we'll fast forward this into early tomorrow morning around 1 a.m. Friday. Keep an eye out towards San Angelo, Abilene, Lubbock. You see these showers developing here, a weak disturbance going to move towards the Brazos Valley and watch this area of showers really start to blow up as we head into 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, starting to work its way into western parts of the Brazos Valley and by 7 a.m. going to be dealing with some showers passing through the Brazos Valley, including here in Bryan College Station. So it's going to be chilly out there with those northerly winds as well as those showers developing. So you definitely want the umbrella and the light jacket tomorrow. And as we head into the afternoon hours, we see those showers start to dissipate and move towards southern parts of Texas. So we'll be in the all clear going to stick around with some cloud cover as well as cool temperatures, though. So it's going to be a rather uncomfortable day. Now this dip in the jet stream is what brought that cold front in. It's going to lift towards the north and the east as we head into the week, and that's going to allow mild temperatures to return. Now we're going to see a secondary dip in that jet stream early next week. That's going to usher in some Arctic air. Also, keep an eye on this upper level low in northern Mexico. That could impact us next week towards the end of the week. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. But let's focus on this big dip in the jet stream that's going to push in that Arctic cold front. Now notice as that cold front moves in the deeper cold air going to work its way in just as we see that moisture move out. So we're not going to see any sleet here in the Brazos Valley, but to the north and the east expecting sleet as that colder air undercuts that moisture. Again, we're going to see that moisture move out just too quickly. Unfortunately, notice those high temperatures early next week going to fall into the low 40s. We're going to see the lows also fall into the 20s, so going to be a hard freeze. Go ahead and prepare now. Also, download our KAGS news app as well as the weather app. You can get it in the App Store compatible with your iPhone, your Android. Make sure you get it because we send you notifications, not all the time, so we're not going to inundate you with a lot of information, but important forecasts, breaking news, sports stories, we'll deliver it right to you on your app. Thanks so much, Chris. We're going to have some more after the break. Stay with us.